So far we've been covering monomials, which means a function with one term. Here we're going to be talking about polynomials. A polynomial, remember, just has multiple terms, like this generic example here. We've got multiple terms as a part of the function. An important part of graphing these is the leading term test. This leading term test is basically the same thing as we've done with monomials. Remember, the leading term we consider to be, it's usually the front, but it's really just the, the term with the biggest degree. So n has to be bigger than m and t. This is where we want to focus. After you focus on there, you're just looking at whether or not the a term, the front, is positive or negative, and whether the degree is even or odd. So let's go ahead and take a look at it when our leading term has an even degree. Okay, in the case where we have an even degree with a positive leading term, both our arrows, both our end behaviors are going to be upward. Here, for example, we have f of x equals 2x to the fourth. This is the leading term. You can see it's positive with an even degree. Here we have f of x equals 3 fifths x to the sixth. Again, positive with an even degree. In this case, our end behavior on the left is going to be upwards and our end behavior on the right is going to be up as well. Notice, even degree means they're going the same direction. In this case, where we have a negative leading term with an even degree, both end behaviors are going to be downwards towards negative infinity. So here we have f of x equals negative 3x to the 6th. Again, we've got a negative leading term with an even degree. Here we have negative 5x to the 4th, a negative leading term with an even degree. So in this case, because we have the even degree, the end behaviors are going to be pointing the same direction, and since it's negative, our end behaviors are going to be downward on each side of the function. Whoa! All right, here we have the case where we've got an odd degree. Now when we've got an odd degree, instead of going the same direction, we're going to have the opposite direction. Now when it's a positive leading term with an odd degree, we're going to be moving on the left is going to be going down towards negative infinity and the right is going to be going upward to infinity. So we go down to up. Here we have uh, 3x to the fifth. Notice we have a positive leading term with an odd degree. Here we have 1 half x to the ninth. Again, a positive leading term with an odd degree. So in this case, we know we're going to be starting from the downward direction. So on the left, we're going to be going towards negative infinity, and we're going to go down to up. On the right, we're going to be going towards positive infinity. In the case where we have a negative leading term with an odd degree, we go from up to down. So on the left end behavior, we're going to from positive infinity. The right end behavior, we're going to negative infinity. Here, we see we have a negative 3 as our leading term with an odd degree, 7. Here, even negative 50 is our leading term with an odd degree of 5. So we know that our left end behavior is going to be going from the up direction, from positive infinity, and our right end behavior is going to be going down towards negative infinity. Whoa! So in working with these leading terms in polynomials, again, you're just looking at whether or not we have an, a positive or a negative leading term, and whether or not we have an odd or an even degree, even pointing the same direction, odd pointing opposite directions.